In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a hub and spoke diagram. An example of this would be creating the routes for different between different airports for specific airlines. First, let's look at the data set in question. So I have a data set that has all of the airline routes in the continental US with the origin with the with the uh, latitude and longitude of the origin airport and the latitude and longitude of the destination airport, as well as the airline that serves that route. Okay, so let's go ahead and start up Tableau, and I'm going to connect to my data source. Okay, so what Tableau has done is it's gone ahead and brought that data into the view. Now, what I need to do is I need, in order to draw the start and the end point, I need to union the data to itself so I can tell it where to, I can tell Tableau the, uh, the path to draw the line upon. So I'm going to drag it in again and create a union. And now I have this these two extra fields over here for the sheet and the table. Okay, great. So let's get started. So I basically have twice as much data. So I'm just going to bring table into the view just so I know how to use it in my calculation. So you see I have sheet 11. I'm sorry, sheet 1 and sheet 11. So sheet 11 comes from the second. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a latitude field. And I'm going to say if the table name is equal to sheet one, then I want to return the origin latitude. Else, I want to return the destination latitude. And we're going to repeat that for the longitude. So if the table name oops, is equal to sheet one, then origin longitude else destination longitude and okay so that gives us those two things and notice how tableau has not uh, made those uh, geographic fields so i'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the um, the symbol next to my latitude to go down to geographic role and i'm going to change it to latitude and then for longitude geographic role longitude great okay so the next thing i need to do is i need to tell tableau what the path is to draw things so to do that, I'm going to create a field called path. And I'm going to say if if uh, table name is equal to sheet one, then one else two end. And what Tableau is going to do now is notice how Tableau put the field down here in the measures. It's not actually something I want to count. I just want these as discrete items. So I'm going to drag the path up to the dimensions. That way Tableau doesn't aggregate it by default. The last thing I need to do is I need to tell Tableau actually what the path is. So where did I start and where do I end? So to do that, I'm just going to call this my route. In this case, it's my origin airport plus, and I'm going to say my destination airport. So this is going to give me a, a, a route. So if I take table name out of the view and put route in here, you can see Tableau is giving me every route between the two airports. Okay, from there, I just double click on latitude double click on longitude and I get a map. It's put the dot in the middle of the US because it's averaging together all of the data. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put my route onto detail. Now you see how I get, basically get a bunch of dots where everything starts and ends. I'm gonna change my mark type to a line and it kind of goes crazy, right? Tableau is actually just drawing the lines left to right. And I'm now I'm gonna put my path onto the path shelf and I get a beautiful little view. Now this isn't particularly useful at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe make it like a, a light gray, maybe wash it out quite a bit. And I'm going to turn off the halos as well. Okay, and then I'm going to reduce the size of the marks down pretty far so we can see, maybe even put it down as small as it'll go. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much done. The last thing I would, a couple of things I would do is I might go into my map layers and go ahead and turn off the land cover and maybe turn off the country names. And we probably don't need the state borders and state names either. So now we should be able to just see the countries. And uh, I can then maybe filter on airport. So I'm going to right click on airline and do show filter. Sorry, I said airport, I meant, I meant airline. So now if I make this a uh, multi select drop down. And I can also go ahead and turn on my show apply button. So now, for example, I may want to see only flights by Delta and hit apply. And now I see just Delta flights. 
If I want to include in, for example, American Airlines, I can do that as well. And now I see all flights for Delta and American. The other thing you could do is you could say, okay, well, what's the origin airport? So let's filter on the origin airport and say, all right, we want to look at all flights out of, I don't know, let's say Austin, Texas. Or no, that's not Austin. Yeah, that is Austin, Texas. And you can see where all their flights go. But again, we filtered down to just uh, to just Delta and American Airlines. So we can reset it to include all airlines. Oops, I forgot to hit the apply button. And now we can see all flights that are in and out of Austin Airport. I actually thought Austin was ATX. So let me edit this filter. And uh, Austin, no, it must be Austin. Okay, great. But maybe a better example would be something like Atlanta, which is a uh, major airport. And there we go. So now we can see all flights that are in and out of Atlanta. Now I have pre-filtered this data set a bit, so don't take this as gospel that this is every every flight, but um, I've done it for demonstration purposes. So if you want the data set to practice this with, uh, you can download the workbook, which I'll include a link to in the video, and it'll come down as a TWBX, and then you could just unzip that file and you'll see the workbook along with the data. So that's it for this week. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.